So I wanted to give just a very simple explanation to how you can handle proper nouns. So as you can see in studio, when I open this file, none of these are recognized. And if I was to start translating these, I get no help whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, excuse the English keyboard, I haven't got the accents and things. So what I'm going to do is I've installed the regex auto suggest, which you can get from the open exchange. And if I click on my view menu, the regex auto suggest provider adds this little item up here in the menu. When you click on that, it brings up a box down here where you have an opportunity to enter a, reg a regular expression. So I could give this a title. You don't have to, but I'll give it a title to help me remember what this particular expression was going to be, be used for, because I'm sure as you start using this, you'll see what an excellent little application this is. But with a proper noun, because I'm looking for a capital letter. So what I can do is I can say inside square brackets, A to Z. That's the regular expression to say, find me a capital letter. Then I want to find lowercase. Now I could use, um, well, let's just keep it simple actually. If I had to go A to Z because they're lowercase. And then I put a plus because it means find any number that we actually come across. So keep finding them. So that should find me in simple terms, um, a proper noun. And then if I just enable that, then maybe I just need to go back out and in again, just to make sure. If I type the letter John, you can see that comes up. So if I type it now, I can say C, Morgan, John. And I can enter it like that. Confirm my segment, go to the next one. Hit Cleaver. England, it's found England straight away. So I can find that one too. If I just type the letters, just to show you how they work. So January, Monday, Titanic, Odeon, Cinema. And all of those are coming up because of this regular expression, which is looking for the proper noun. So, which is basically any word that begins with a, um, a capital letter followed by all the, all the lowercase in this instance. So really simple to use. You can close that then, you don't need to have that open. It will always remember where they are. If you click that back up again, you can see it's there. So you can build a collection of regular, regular expressions to help you while you're working and doing your translation work. Really excellent little application.